Lagos, Kano, Rivers are the deciding states to win presidency. If you can't control them, then you are out of the race. The candidate of the new Nigeria People's Party, NNPP, Rabi Okwankwaso, open up. Let's get to this discussion already. Let me give you some history. In 2015, it was believed that three states decided the presidential election. The states were known as KKK, meaning Kano, Castena, and Kaduna. Now, Lagos, Rivers, and Kano has been alleged to decide next year's election. How did I find out? Watch this video. Any party that cannot control two of the two of the three uh, states, Kano, Lagos, and Rivers, he has been saying it, and people were not taking note of it. And by now, with Konkoso out of that party, Wiki is still struggling to be there or not to be there. <laughs> Somehow things are moving. Saturday Lagos is not their own. One begins to wonder where they will get their votes to win the election of 2023. We have seen people struggling, probably regretting going around talking to so many leaders trying to say that they should intervene either here or there now let me say especially to those leaders please at this critical time respect yourselves Kwan Kwaso just analyzed the situation here he said with Lagos and its massive population already with the Jagaban rivers that has always delivered 100% to their presidential ticket, the governor Wiki is having issues with the party and the party chairman. Kano, with his population, happens to be Kwankwaso strong base. The southeast and the south south that has always favored the PDP in the past is likely to be controlled by Mr. Peter Obi of the Labour Party. So, where will the votes come from for the People's Democratic Party PDP and Atiku Abubakar? You can see Kwankwaso in that video. Warning everyone who have interest in settling any aggrieved party to respect themselves because he understands the quarrels could play to his advantage in a way. In order for Kwan Kwaso to secure his victory come 2023, listen to what he said to Mr. Peter Obi during a town hall meeting. Watch. The two parties, based on our own analysis, have nothing to tell. Nigerians that is new. And this, my brother, who I believe is going to speak next, please hold South East very well. You are doing do a good job for our party and for Nigerians. Thank you very much. I will explain. Kwan Kwaso is aware that the voting population is in the north and that the south is just there to help complete a candidate's vote. If a candidate sweeps the votes in the northern part of the country, he only needs to take in one or two votes from the south to meet with the constitutional requirement to be declared Mr. President. So Kwan Kwaso believes Obi can help him secure the presidency if he can sweep the votes in the south and not allow PDP or APC anything there. To confirm that Kwan Kwaso is not joking with his presidential ambition, Hear what he said. Watch. I'm ready for a debate with all the candidates to come and put their cards on the table. All of them. Of course, some of them are running away from debate because <laughs> they have absolutely nothing, nothing to say. I think the PDP was very happy, very lucky, even kicking out its members, including my humble self, including Peter Odi. Even including Wiki that I'm visiting tomorrow to commission some projects. They're kicking everybody. <laughs> they think once you get a ticket of PDP, they still see it as 1999. <laughs> Not knowing that young men today who were born in 1999 are beginning to 
be in charge of the polling booth and so on and so forth. <laughs> so now, before the closure of submitting names of president and vice president of our, candy, of our parties, we made efforts. We explained uh, to so many people that there was need at that time for merger. Of course, that time would have merged with some party or parties. That time would have submitted the name of president and vice president. That would have been okay. But now we have already submitted our names. We have all our candidates on the ground in NNPP like PDP and APC. Now for you to say you are leaving them to go to another party, then I think something is wrong. NNPP is all out to win the 2023 election. That is it. Kwan Kwaso is challenging his contenders who are afraid of debates to come and debate him. He also made it clear that he's never considering stepping down for anybody. He is very ready to win and serve the Nigerian people come 2023. Now, in conclusion, make sure you follow up with the candidates. Also, make sure you, you are convinced beyond every reasonable doubt to vote for your choosing candidates. Together, we will make Nigeria great again. Don't give up on this country. God has not given up on Nigeria. I will see you tomorrow. Please subscribe to this news channel. Let me be your news blog and I will keep you updated.